What's up everybody? It's Yashua. Welcome to my channel if you are unfamiliar and welcome back if you aren't. I'm happy to see all of you either way. So, I have an idea and it's one that I think is going to be very beneficial to a lot of people and I'm happy if it's just beneficial to one to be honest. So, here's my idea. We're going to do a therapy session here. I will be therapist Yashua. Dr. Yashua here to help you at your service and let me say at the beginning of this right now very clearly that I am not a real therapist and this video is not constitution for any real therapy if it's needed. I highly recommend that if you need it very seriously then you get whatever you need to be a full person to be a whole you and the best person that you can be you know what I mean within yourself and within your spirit so with that being said what I want to do with this video is I would like to give everybody any and all an opportunity to talk get some stuff off of their chest and like Maybe be supported, not even maybe, but definitely, definitely be supported as a group. I want this to be more like a community therapy session. Though you're going to be talking directly to me in this video, um, I want you to, after the video or during the video, at any point where you feel inspired to do so, to go in and to the comments and say, you know, talk about anything that you need to talk about say something that maybe you could use some healing with that you could just get off of your chest you know something that you could use some help with and not only will I be responding you know um, in kind with like energy to motivate and fill you with as much light as I possibly can but also everybody else in the comments this is a community thing like I said so Anything that you leave in the comments, we are going to flood with love and support. There will be no hate. Any hate will definitely be blocked. You are safe here in this community. I want for everybody who's reading the comments to pitch in, chime in, and encourage one another. Let's let each other know that we're here for each other because we are. If we're not, who else is, you know? Like, we are here for each other and this is all about love, so... Do share any and all amounts of love with anybody in the comments that you wish to. And then we'll keep the love going. That's all we'll spread. There will be no hate. There will be no shade. There will be no shaming. There will be no any of it. I don't care what it is that you're going through and what it is that you want to talk about. It's free. It's a free for all. You can speak your mind. And we are here to listen. We love you. <laughs> okay, so without further ado. Tell me why you're here. Been going through a little something? Yeah. Okay. Tell me about it. Yes, it's highly understandable. It's highly understandable. We go through everyday stresses all the time, and then, you know, you seem to be uh, having an issue in your relationship. Okay. That's quite fine. No, it's common. <laughs> it's very common. We all go through these issues. Nothing to be ashamed of at all. Um, what exactly... Are you experiencing in your relationship that is something you would like to supersede or overcome? Hmm. Ah, I see. You would like more unity and affection in your situation, yes? Okay, okay. Well, what kind of feelings are the lack of that affection 
and unity causing in your being, in your everyday life. Yeah. Oh, it's totally understandable. Well, most certainly it's normal. I mean, it's definitely normal to feel, you know, kind of um, entangled if things aren't free-flowing and natural and um, you know, positive between the two of you, you know? Especially if you're spending most of your time with this person because you're kind of engulfed in that energy a lot of the time, most of the time, apparently. And that's what begins to take hold over your emotional state, you know? Why do you feel this person is not being so affectionate with you? Oh, well, I, I assure you, it's not that you're not beautiful. I guarantee you it's not because of that. And I say this in the most professional and respective, uh, respectful way possible, but it can't be that because you are a beautiful being of light and love. I can see it in your aura and you have a lot to give. And y you know, that, that goes for really everybody in this world. There isn't anyone who isn't their own light there are those who feel as though their light has been diminished and sometimes further diminish it themselves and that causes them to think that that's who they are and they feel stuck in that place but it's not who they are it's product of conditioning is what it is and so you're feeling you know you're feeling a little colder maybe doesn't have anything to do with the fact that you don't have a heart. It's just that perhaps you've been involved in a cold situation or have been the product of some hurt, some betrayal. Some betrayal? Okay. Why do you think there's something wrong with you? Because someone else betrayed you Hmm. You feel like as if you, you know, if you were doing something right, they wouldn't have done those things. All right. All right. What do I think? I think that human beings are full of choices every second of every day it's all we have really and I think that any willful choice made to intentionally betray you disrespect you disregard you is the choice of the individual who made that decision and has nothing to do with you perhaps there are things that could have aided to that choice I don't know and you know that's what we're here for you can tell me you can openly admit if you've done some wrong things if you've done some things to make someone feel a little more distant from you it's nothing wrong with that we all make i won't even call them mistakes because a mistake insinuates that there's nothing learned from it that there is no good to come from the situation and as long as that is not the case meaning you have learned something from it then it's not a mistake it was a bad choice. And just like all other choices, that choice, though you can't go back on it, can be made differently the second time around. You can make a different choice, a better choice, one that has a better outcome, more fruitful for you and for the people you're involved with. So do you feel as though there is something you could have done better? Do you feel as though Oh 
Okay. That's big of you to admit. And no, that's perfectly fine. That's fine. We've all done things. We've all said things, you know, that perhaps we're not proud of and that we wish we could take back. But it doesn't make us bad people. It doesn't make you a bad person. No, absolutely not. Absolutely not. Well, if you do feel as though you've said something that you wish you wouldn't have said, especially if it's something you regret saying, perhaps we should schedule a time whenever you're ready to make a phone call to that person or to leave a message if you're not comfortable verbally, you know, talking to them. You don't feel as though your message is going to come across the way you intend it to, especially if the tendency between the two of you is to argue after, you know, such encounters. I think that it would be very beneficial to you to apologize to the people you feel as though you need to apologize to. People you feel you've harmed with your words or actions in any way. You don't want to do that? Okay. Why not? Because they hurt you. They hurt you so bad, maybe. I understand that. I understand that. You don't know what to do. I understand that as well. I would implore you to think about the fact that you feel like you should not apologize because they've hurt you. But what you just admitted to me was that you've also done things, said things that could be harmful to this individual as well. And if your goal at the end of the day is to become more on a common ground with this person, if the goal is to be harmonious, to be in unity with someone, if at all possible, which you know we can dive into uh, more, but if that is the goal, then it's going to take give on both sides. And we can't control what other people do. We can't control that. It's never in our realm of control. What we can control, however, is how we respond, how we react, and how we advance in our lives. And so, if you feel as though you've done any sort of wrong to a person, something that can be rectified with a simple apology, is powerful. You have no idea how powerful it can be to just apologize to someone sincerely. You know, not like when we were children and your mom said you had to apologize to your sister and you're like, sorry, Casey, <laughs> you know, whatever. <laughs> not that way. It touches the human heart in some kind of way when someone expresses a genuine emotion and to apologize sincerely to someone for something that you did is a big step on your part too. Not only does it affect them greatly and thus affect the two of your energies together, but it also affects you individually because even if the person doesn't forgive you, it's a burden off of your own heart to surrender that to no longer hold that animosity towards yourself, to no longer hold regret. Regret is too big of a burden for anyone to carry. We must get rid of it. How do we get rid of it? By being open. Yes, by doing this, talking about our feelings, talking about how we feel about things and 
being willing to take steps, baby steps, to get to where we're trying to get. And that's to a level of progress, right? That's to, especially if there's someone else involved, a level of harmony. What that's going to mean for you is being open enough, reasonable enough to consider the other person's perspective. Because your perspective is totally valid, is totally your own, and it is totally fine. Your feelings. I mean, more than perspective, because perspective, perspective can be skewed. And, you know, sometimes isn't always accurate for any of us. And that's why it can be changed. Your feelings, on the other hand, are much more internal. Perspective is external. Internal means that it's something that you have to deal with. And so it is something that you have to be clear on, for one. And then for two, it's something you got to be willing to work through. Are you willing to say, I'm sorry? To someone you've done a wrong to. Are you willing to let go of the burden of regret? It's okay to let out a tear if you need to. I, hey, whatever emotion you're feeling here is totally fine and welcome. Feel it. Feel it deeply. And then examine it and adapt. Do not let it consume you. Do not let it consume you. You mustn't. You can't. For as long as you stay there, you will stay in this negative state where you can't grow. Or at least it becomes much harder to grow. And that's not what we're about. We're not a, trying to add friction to our own journeys, are we? Absolutely not. That's not why we're here. <laughs> you give... Go ahead. No, go ahead. I'm listening. No, 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 no. Please. I don't want to be the only one talking here. I, I absolutely desire. I want to know what it is that you have to say. This is for you. Yeah. Oh, I know it, I know it, yeah. Yeah, it can, it can be difficult to admit, you know, to apologize sometimes, I know. Do you feel capable of this though? Yes. Okay, good. Then we can get somewhere for sure because that would have to be the first step if not it's getting you to a point where, you know, you can get on from that point but because you feel capable of apologizing, of embodying, accepting something that you've done wrong, something that you may have contributed to a negative situation, something to cause any kind of anxiety or sadness between yourself and your significant other, your partner, whoever you're dating, whatever the scenario may be. Oh, I'm loving your energy right now. Yes, yes, tell me more. I want more. Go on, please. <laughs> You're willing to do that? You're willing to make that call and apologize sincerely without needing of any kind of specific response from them. Meaning if they don't forgive you, it's still okay. And you're willing to try and forgive yourself. I love it. 
I love it. I love it. Okay. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely we're getting somewhere. Do I feel like you're making progress? Absolutely. 100%. 100% you're making progress. You are a gem. And the more we speak here, the more you're going to see that. I guarantee it. I guarantee it. Your light will shine the more you allow it to shine. Grudges dim the light. Forgiveness brightens the light. And what I see in your heart is potential for a lot of good, a lot of love, and a lot of genuinity. Genuine, genuinity, genuine feelings, genuineness. <laughs> I see a lot of genuineness. And that's a powerful thing. It's a thing that you don't actually see a lot. So the fact that you are exhibiting these traits and that you want to exhibit these traits means big things for you and for your future. You've got a lot of good coming to you. A lot of love and light. And I feel it. I feel it. Do you feel it? Do you feel it? <laughs> well, yay. <laughs> yay. Big yays. Hmm. Oh, yes. Well, um, um, I smile a lot. Yes. Well, <laughs> thank you. I, I tend to believe that the lighter side of life is the better side to be on, you know, the happier side. And I know that a lot of my professional counterparts tend to take things more seriously and they want to sit in their chairs and look at you and just like let you talk and observe you and analyze you and never really share anything of themselves. But I don't think that that's the best way to grow. I don't think so. Not to grow together think that emotions need to be felt on both sides and I think that there needs to be an element of light you know an element of uh, of uh, joy I mean if you're not getting it from the person you're trying to heal with who are you gonna get it from how are you gonna share it with other people this is what's needed I enjoy seeing your smile very much. Like right now, oh, I'm loving that smile right now. <laughs> it's, it's bringing so much joy to my spirit. And I can tell that it's bringing a lot of joy to yours. So please continue to smile. Uh -oh. Okay. Um, my community. I think that this has been a wonderful session. I have enjoyed talking to you so much and I am looking forward to your comments and the results of you making that call or sending that message to someone that you need to apologize to. And I am looking forward to you telling me how much that helped you how big of a relief it's made in your life and on your heart. I truly, sincerely cannot wait to hear about your results, which we will talk about in our next relationship session. Much love. Much peace. See you soon.